Hello, Math 3. Um, we are looking at the exact trig values of special angles. And for the stellar students, I believe that we've started this already. I just wanted to do a quick review before you started working on your own. So um, a few things to remember is that we're going to need for this is Sokotoa. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Um, another thing to remember is that tangent is sine over cosine. And, um, and also, any point, any point on the uh, unit circle, we'll call it, here, is going to be cosine theta, sine theta. Okay, so a few things to remember there. Um, actually, and it follows from that since tangent is sine over cosine, tangent equals y over x. And the way I say that is because since it's sine over cosine, since you have sine over cosine here, sine is our y value, cosine is our x value, so that's why a y over x. And um, hopefully we'll see how to use those as we do these problems. So let's look at number one. Um, let's imagine though that we have a terminal side of 60 degrees. Okay, and again, what I, what I would like to do is to draw the reference triangle which gives you the right triangle to the x-axis. And now, zoom in here, this is 60 degrees. Okay, um, which leads us to, we're going to also need our special triangles. So our special triangles, special right triangles, were the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, I'll put this over here. Thirty, sixty, ninety right triangle. Just like that, 60 degrees, 30 degrees. And then remember the ratio for that triangle is the shortest side we call one, the Hypotenuse would be two, and the middle side is root three. That is the ratio of the sides of a 30, 60, 90. We would also need our 45, 45, 90. All right, 45, 45, 90. And our ratio of sides on that would be 1 on the two equal sides and root 2 on the hypotenuse. So using that idea, let's go back to what we were working on. So if I draw that, we have our short side is 1, our hypotenuse is 2, and our middle side is root 3. And that's how we always have it with our... 30, 60, 90. Um, and since tangent is opposite over adjacent, the opposite side of 60 is root 3. The adjacent side, we either have 1 or 2. They're both adjacent. They're both next to, but 2 is the hypotenuse. So one is our adjacent side. So we have root three over one, and that simplifies to just root three. So tangent theta is root three. Let's look at number two. Um, I like this one because it's in a different quadrant. We are in quadrant three now. If you remember the quadrants, that's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So we still make our right triangle 
going directly to the x-axis. So there's our right triangle. Now we have to figure out, again, because we're dealing with um, triangles that are, these are going to be special right triangles. That's why it says values of special angles. They're either 45, 30, or 60 degrees. So this is one of these triangles. So because this is going 225, if we go just right to here, that's 180 degrees. That means this is another 45 degrees to get to 225. So now we take our 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Let's see if I can put that in the picture here at the same time. So here's our 45, 45, 90 down here. 1, 1, root 2. So we can draw that now on this one. The two equal sides are a 1. The root 2 is a hypotenuse. And then lastly, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is 1. The hypotenuse is root 2. So that means sine would be opposite 1 over root 2. Now technically that is the answer, but we, te we don't like to have roots in the denominator. So we have to rationalize this, this denominator. So the way we do that is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So we go root 2 over root 2. So notice that this equals 1. Root 2 over root 2 is 1, so we're just multiplying by 1, which means we're not changing anything. Multiply across 1, 1 times root 2 is root 2. Square root 2 times square root 2 is just 2. And that would be our answer, root 2 over 2. Um, and so that's how you would do 1 and 2 which was a 30, 60, 90 right triangle and a 45, 45, 90. I will look at one more, number three, because this one's a slightly different. Um, because the, if you notice here, the terminal side, which is our ending side, is on the axis. So this changes things a little bit um, because we can't draw a triangle. If we draw a triangle, if we draw a line from the end of the angle to the x-axis, it just makes a straight line. So, this is where I go back to this idea of our cosine theta, sine theta is our point. So all I do here is imagine that our point, since at 90 degrees, is going to be here. And I call that point, because it's a unit circle typically, would be 0, 1. If it were over here, it would be 1, 0. If it were over here, it would be negative 1, comma, 0. And if it were down here, it would be 0, negative 1. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting that right there. We, this one says 90 degrees. So what we need then is to remember that this is cosine. So if it asks for cosine theta, the answer is 0. If it asks for sine theta, the answer is 1. And if it asks for tangent, tangent would be 1 over 0, because it's y over x, which would be undefined. Well, this one is asking for sine theta. So the answer is 1. OK, so that's the beginning of this exact trig value of special angles. Let's look at the back side now, or what we have here. Yes. So if we look at number 9 and 10, same thing pretty much. Um, 11 and 12, we have to, um, we're working backwards here. So if actually, if we look at 11 through the end of the worksheet here, we're working backwards. So what we have to do is we have to draw these first. I, you know, I wouldn't say we're working backwards. We're just doing it without the drawing initially. So I'm not going to do all of 11 because we can do that one um, in terms of... Uh, 
I draw 270, 270 would be, let's see, it's 90, 180, 270. So it's this point right here. That's 270. In fact, if you look, it's the same as the one over up here, number nine. So this is 270. And the question is, what's cosine 270? Well, remember, and this is where we go back to, your point is always cosine theta, sine theta. So this point right here, we would call zero, negative one, because we're on that unit circle. So since that is zero, negative one, then the cosine is our first thing, is our first coordinate point. So the answer would be zero. Cosine equals zero. Zero. Okay. So for example, number 12, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but here, but sine zero, well, zero degrees would actually be right on, ooh, that's ugly. Right on the x-axis there, that point is one comma zero. Figure out what the sign would have to be then according to this. Okay, um, 13 and 14, now we're in radian mode. So let me do, um, let's, do let's do 14. Remember that like, um, I'll just write this real quick so you hopefully remember this. We're dealing with secant, cosecant, and cotangent, which are just the reciprocals of the other um, trig functions. So secant is actually the reciprocal of cosine. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So basically you just find the cosine, so for example, if we want, if we want cosecant, which we want on number 14, we want cosecant of two pi over three. So what we would do is we'd find the sine. We want the sine of two pi over three. And when we find that answer, we just do the reciprocal, which means you flip it over. So let's do this last problem um, that we're gonna do an example of. So two pi over three. So the way I think about these is if I'm breaking these up into thirds, hopefully you can remember, which I'll put this up here also, pi equals 180 degrees. That's our conversion from radians to degrees. So if I break up 180 into thirds, that means that I'm going by 60 degrees here. So two pi over three, is taking, and in fact, you can just do this, just substitute the 180 in for pi, because pi equals 180. Two times 180 is 360 divided by three. That's the same as saying 120. 360 divided by three is 120. So what we're really doing is finding the cosecant, I'm gonna block this off here. We're finding the cosecant of 120, which means we have to find the sine of 120. Okay, so that's a little bit more manageable. So now I draw our coordinate axis here. And 120 would be in quadrant two. It would be about right, we'll just say right here. Call it about that. That would be 120 degrees. So I draw my triangle down to the x-axis which means that this would be a 60 degree angle there. Now I would draw, take from the previous thing, the, uh, the special triangles, the previous slide. The short side, which is going to be across from the 30 degree angle is one. The middle side is root three and the hypotenuse is two. So sine of 120 would be opposite over hypotenuse which is opposite side of 60 degrees is root three. 
roots, root three, hypotenuse is two. Okay, so that is the sine. The sine of 120 is root three over two, but we need the cosecant of 120. So the cosecant of 120 is you take the reciprocal of this, which is two over root three. You just flip it over. But remember, we don't want the root in the denominator, so we multiply it by the denominator over the denominator, which is one. So we get is we get two root three, we multiply the top, over root three times root three is three. So the final answer would be, that is the final answer, cosecant two pi over three equals two root three over three. A little bit of work there.